some of the tactics that I've I've experienced with slum lords trying to bully artists or myself in particular out of their out of their apartments is essentially by complete neglect of um, their property and um, by sort of allowing um, crime or um, dangerous conditions to exist for long periods of time without um, paying, giving them any attention. Um, in my building a couple of years ago, um, a lot of the units are empty because the landlord sort of warehouses apartments um, in order to um, hike up the rents. And in my building in particular, there's a few units that have been empty for years and years, and they're filled with um, flammable materials. And we had a terrible fire here a couple of years ago. Luckily, we have a fire department on our block. Um, I'd say, you know, in my experience, it's it's just been by neglect and hoping that the artists or the tenants that are still living in the building will get tired of living so miserably and abjectly that they'll want to leave the apartments. Um, we were in court with, with our, our landlord for eight years during the 80s, and um, he had the strangest... Um, legal team. The lawyer um, looked like a cross between Satan and Dumbo the elephant and um, he had a secretary that showed up in court as well dressed like a lumberjack. She was a kind of a hermaphrodite. She had a beard and a plaid shirt and the crack of her ass was showing and as a legal team we, the tenants at the time, found that to be very audacious in a way, and they carried all of their paperwork in a shopping bag to show that um, they were the owners of the building. Um, and um, it was just a very surreal kind of circumstance. Um, it felt like it was some sort of battle from the turn of the century. This building that I live in was erected in like 1890 and I guess uh, immigrants from all over you know Italy or Ireland would you know uh, live in bunk beds along the walls of these of these railroad apartments and it just feels like in my building in particular not much has changed and so I wasn't really surprised when I met the legal team but uh, they would try and scare us by giving us the evil eye and shuffling their feet slowly through court and um, it, it was just so very strange. Um, they w were actually not able to um, prove ownership of the building because they didn't have the paperwork. They didn't have, they didn't have original legal documents and uh, as far as as far as um, costumes and uh, curses, that's about the 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 length of, of their strong arming. That's about all they could do. But my neighbors and I, you know, we're um, we uh, just sort of showed up for everything. And I guess I guess uh, I guess we haven't been bullied all, all that much. Um, Although there were nights when I couldn't sleep because I was always afraid the building would catch fire. And there were many nights, and there's still many nights, where I feel like the landlord is, is just going to give up entirely on um, this building and it's going to, you know, have us, you know, essentially blown up or something. Um, so I, I have a lot of, of fear, you know, living here. It's not really exactly... Um, comfortable. Um, it's tenuous, to, to say the least, but again, um, a lot of these buildings in the neighborhood, and my building in particular, has been, has, has even though it's very slanted now, and it seems like it's going to fall down, um, 
you know, we're still here. And, um, yeah, I guess so, you know, it's the neglect. There was a lot of dangerous tenants at one point in the building. They used to sell keys to um, junkies on the street to, to gain access to the building. And they sold keys for a dollar to come upstairs to use a shooting gallery on the top floor. And that was something that really scared us because there were so many vagrants and addicts in the hallways. And um, it got violent at times here. And um, the owner of the shoot, or the, the person who rented out the apartment um, ended up dying some horrible death upstairs and that's like the only way he was he was you know he he was evicted from the building